ABC Managing Director David Anderson has announced his intention to step down. Mr Anderson was first appointed to the position in 2019 after a long career with the ABC and was reappointed as MD in August last year. He will remain in the position until a new manager is appointed. Now, David Anderson is with me in the studio now. Very good to see you, David. You too, Ross. Why are you leaving? Why now? Oh, I think when you know, you know. Uh, I've had 35 years with the ABC, six as managing director, uh, and, well, nearly six. So I stepped into the role in September of 2018. I had a period of, of acting in the role uh, before being appointed in May 2019. Um, look, for me, it is the right time for me, and it's the right time for the ABC. Mm. And it wasn't an easy decision to make. Uh, it's been an honour and a privilege to have been in the role uh, for, for this period of time, in fact, to the work for the ABC for 35 years. And I have um, haven't come to it lightly, but I have uh, been in discussion with Kim Williams about it. Kim, of course, has tried to talk me out of it a number of times, but um, look, I've, when you know, you know, and I've made my decision and I've advised Kim, so I'll be in the role uh, until the new managing director starts, which conceivably could be March next year. So I'll be here for some time yet. You have been under a lot of pressure, though, over the last few years, haven't you, both externally and internally, thinking about legal actions, pay negotiations. Is it the, that pressure that's pushed you to make this d decision? Oh, look, I think, well, the pressure's been constant, can I say, for the entire period of time, and you don't enter into these roles lightly. Um, of course, it's difficult to know the pressure that you're going to experience until you're in it, but... I have to say the pressure's been constant. There hasn't been one particular thing that's happened to me over this period of time. Uh, I think that um, the, these roles are quite demanding. You throw everything at it. Uh, and if I look at um, the ABC at the moment, the ABC is in very good shape. Um, I've really enjoyed defending public interest journalism, our journalists, uh, our commitment to telling Australian stories, our commitment across regional, rural, remote Australia and increasing our numbers there. Uh, for everything that we've done over those six years, I'm, I'm quite proud of what the ABC has achieved in that time. And looking ahead, I just, I just feel it's the right time for renewal, and I think it's the right time for me. I'm, I'm sort of quite comfortable in my decision, and um, it's, it's, it's a difficult day to roll it all out. But uh, look, I, the, the board will go about uh, their business in recruiting for a new MD, and I've given, you know, them my undertaking that I'm here. I'll keep working in this job until the new person starts. So you say the pressure has been constant. What have been the biggest challenges? Uh, I think, well look, large complex organisations, the biggest challenges are you always want to make sure that you're looking after your people as best as possible. Um, and that is always on your mind. It is always something that you want to be able to do. It's the people of the ABC that make it great, um, has done for, for 92 years. Um, the pressures that sit with a modern media organisation are to maintain the trust you have with the Australian people uh, and, and, and your relevance to them. And so I think that, you know, how can you make sure that that is contemporary over time? And again, it's through people that that happens and you can lead in some moments and you're enabling in others. Uh, I think that, um, you know, that constant challenge of making sure that you're able to do good uh, for, as a public good, uh, for the Australian public, that's always the constant challenge, but it's a great one to have and it's a privilege to have the role. Uh, and, you know, whoever comes next, they'll, they'll, they'll find that out too. Those have been the challenges then. What about the highlights? I've had many highlights. I mean, I've got a long time to go before I actually leave, so uh, there's probably a lot of time to talk about that. But, you know, for me, um, the, the difference that public interest journalism has made in this country at various moments in time throughout uh, that period I think uh, are there for all to see. It makes our society better, it makes our country great to be able to give voices to people who don't have one, um, to hold power to account and to have it result in something better. That is always something that you know you feel, I think everyone here at the ABC mm. feels, feels proud of. Um, there's been other moments of course when we've had wonderful programming that's gone out, uh, the joy that Bluey brings people to uh, what we tell stories through, through other means, um, whether it's comedy, uh, what we do for local radio, the friend and companion uh, for people, the sound of Australia across the nation, uh, all of those things in all of its forms. It's, it's hard to pick any one thing that I can say that I'm most proud of. So you've led the strategic direction, David, of the ABC over the last five to six years. Yep. With you now stepping down, what happens to that? Where does that go? Oh, well, it uh, keeps going. So the ABC is in good hands with Kim Williams and the board. Um, the leadership of the ABC is talented. 
uh, the strategic direction uh, will always evolve. I think you know we have a five-year plan, and we have priorities, but it's a it's a living plan, and we need to certainly move with the times and make sure that we keep a pace with our audiences and how they consume content. What will never change is the high quality content that we have, whether it's high quality journalism, high quality storytelling, what's on radio, and continuing to grow what is our digital platform. So, so you're, you're confident your vision for the future will be shared and seen through? Uh, yes, but but you never set it in, you never put it in bronze and you never put it in concrete. So it is always evolving. So and as it should. And I think the ABC has had a great history of evolving over its 92 years. Um, and I won't bore you with a stump speech, but you know, so it has constantly had to evolve through that period of time and it's done a great job. And the people working for it have done a terrific job over, over that period of time. And certainly the last six years I've been MD. Right, so you took over after that very difficult time uh, with MD Michelle Guthrie being sacked, Chairman Justin Milne deciding to step down. How hard was it to right the ship after those stormy waters, if you like. That was certainly an interesting moment in ABC history. Uh, I think uh, I thought the people of the ABC were quite resilient through that time. They did an incredible job. For me, there are definite moments where, uh, in that first week, where people were quite concerned about political interference into the ABC, and I stepped into the role in what was a chaotic time. Uh, that certainly was challenging, but again, I'm proud of proud of the role uh, that I played and I'm proud of, the, proud of the role that everyone else played through that period. And, and I think that you know, certainly backing um, our people, our journalism through that period of time held us in good stead with the Australian people. Just to broaden this out, what could uh, this change or departure mean for viewers and for the Australian public? Not much, I'd say, Roz. So, uh, look, I, I think that um, with leadership renewal, we've seen a great transition from Ita to Kim, um, certainly for chair of the board. Uh, you will see a smooth transition from, uh, from me to whoever comes next. And as I said, I don't expect that to be soon. I expect that to take some time. Uh, and, I, and I am endeavouring and committing to that transition being smooth. So I think what people have come to rely upon in the ABC, they can still rely on into the future. Your legacy? Well, defining one's legacy, uh, I think, sort of comes more towards the end. So um, certainly it has been, I, I, would, I would hope so, uh, that it's seen certainly as, as strong leadership that has backed our people, backed our journalism, committed to our presence in regional, rural, remote Australia, uh, all the things that make the ABC great, um, I think, you know, for me, has always been done through the good people of the ABC wherever they are. David Anderson, thank you. Thank you.